Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to try out the latest collection from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and this is his Jaw Breaker collection. Now I have three on hand. I have the Jaw Breaker 24 eyeshadow palette and then I have the mint Ooh, sorry, butterfingers. I have the mini breaker which has I think nine shades and i also have a liquid lipstick and this one is fully nude so for today's look i'm actually not entirely sure which palette i am going to use but i feel like i am gonna go ahead and try out the big guy which is the jewel breaker eyeshadow palette so this is what the box looks like it comes with like a embossed box with pink writing at the back as well and it's so pretty it's very loud, very obnoxious, but at the same time, it's quite fun. So here is the actual eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, it's pink. It has like embossed splatters of paint, as well as like the shiny embossing on the name called Jawbreaker. And then inside, this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like now everyone has probably already have seen this eyeshadow palette but as always i'm quite late in getting palettes because one the shipping in new zealand takes quite a while and two it's kind of expensive but i managed to grab this eyeshadow palette plus the mini breaker for i think it was 70 dollars for a bundle which is pretty good the colors here are very fun very vibrant as well as you get a huge mirror which is a huge plus it's quite heavy and for today's look i honestly have no idea which shadows i'm going to go for maybe i will try the pastel colors in this video i'm not even gonna bother swatching these because you probably have already already seen swatches of this eyeshadow palette so what i'm going to do is to apply it's straight on my eyes and oh my god I've got a haircut once again and this is how long my hair is now it used to be just above my bum cheek so it's quite refreshing at the same time it's a little bit too short like I definitely need some getting used to so for primer, I am going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I actually do love this primer because it makes everything vibrant as well as it makes the eyeshadows last. The only problem that I have is the packaging because as you open it, it just explodes everywhere. So you have to be careful. And I feel like I have already wasted a ton of product, which is packaging. So I think it should be redesigned but the product itself is amazing so i'm going to quickly pop that all over my lid i am then going to set my lids with this shade called good morning i actually want to try maybe an orange look so I am going to pick up this shade called Suck and I'm going to buff that on my crease. That orange comes out pink on my skin tone. I am going to pick up a blender brush and maybe Use a little bit of Tasty just on the outer edge and the crease as well. I really want to try this shade right here called Orange Juice. So I think we're going to go towards that shade. So next, I am going to pick up the shade Licorice, which is this shade right here on the same brush and I'm going to stamp that whoa stamp that on the outer V wow that is so pigmented
with the same brush I am going to use a little bit of Tasty which is this dark brown right here to deepen the uh -uh. and I'll blend everything I kind of want to put a little bit of um, pink on top so I think I'm gonna grab like a different brush maybe a brush like this and I'll grab this bubblegum pink wow she's pigmented and apply that on the inner corner Or like on the crease area, I'm going to go and use the shade right here called F-U-C-K with the same brush and kind of just blend the edges a little bit. I really am not sure where I'm going with this look. So I am going to cut my crease again. And I'm going to blend a little bit of licorice and sick and pop that in here. Mostly with, I mean, sock, which is the orange shade. And then back with licorice, which is the red shade, just on the outer part. And then I'm going to go back with bubble gum on the top bit. And then, whew, I'm so excited for this. So we are going to use the shade Orange Juice, which is this shade right here. Wow, that is so vibrant. And then I'm going to go back to Suck. I'm obsessed with this look. So for the lower lash line, I am going to go and use, um, maybe we'll use a little bit of purple. So I am going to start off with licorice, which is this red one right here. Just to get the base. And with the same brush, I am going to try and put a little bit of gumdrop, which is the pastel shade on the inner part of the lid. And then next to it, I am going to go and use a little bit of the, I mean, soap, which is the blue shade. On top of gumdrop, I am going to try and put on a little bit of Bite Me, which is this purple one right here. For the inner corner highlight, I wanted to try and use hmm, maybe Lemon Drop, this yellow shade right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this eye makeup. So I'm just gonna hop on offline and I am going to put some mascara on. I don't think I will put false lashes because I kind of like the look. I'll be right back. So I just applied mascara and oh my god, I'm so obsessed with the look. So the final touch is the lips. So this is the liquid lipstick in the shade Fully Nude. I did not get the green because I want to stay too my comfort zone which is more of a nude so this is more of like a pinky nude i'd say it smells like a liquid lipstick so that's what the liquid looks the mean the lipstick looks like so i'm going to just dab my lip balm off i kind of want to have a little bit of gloss before i apply liquid lipstick because my lips tend to get really dry 
there's a shade in this palette that I wanted to try which is called Jawbreaker and I feel like that would be a good highlight shade so it it has like gold reflex to it so we will going to try that that's definitely a good highlight shade but let me fix my hair so here is my final look my overall thoughts on this eyeshadow palette once again it's very pigmented like i never thought that i would actually like pastel colors and knowing that pastel colors sometimes are kind of hard to formulate this eyeshadow palette definitely gave the quality the pigmentation and the blendability that you would need even a beginner can definitely use this eyeshadow palette i find that all the mattes blend really nicely onto the lids like all the colors kind of go in hand with each other and i really like the look that i came up with like typically i wouldn't even like gravitate towards these kinds of shades but now that i kind of got a glimpse into the eyeshadow palette and kind of played with it as well i cannot wait to create more eyeshadow looks with this eyeshadow palette like seriously for 50 i'd say 54 dollars i believe you can definitely say that this eyeshadow palette is worth it. This is by far the best eyeshadow palette that I've tried from Jeff Jeffrey Cosmetics. I have the Thirsty eyeshadow palette. That eyeshadow palette has got a hit or miss, but this eyeshadow palette overall is a great palette for makeup artists or makeup enthusiasts like me to add to your collection. As for the liquid lipstick, now it says fully nude, but obviously it doesn't look nude on my skin tone the more i look at it it looks a little bit more um peachy against my skin tone but then you know some people would like th this kind of nude personally for me i prefer more of a brown tone nude but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and i will catch you on the next one bye